hi to Chaco. Okay, Foggy first happy. Best of three. Played forfeited. He's out of the tournament. But Foggy, he's still in the tournament. Why is Blade out if he beat Foggy? Because he, he didn't want to play anymore. Maybe he had to leave. Maybe some other reason. But uh, he forfeited. And now we have Foggy in the finals. Foggy, he got Orc. And we have Knight of here for Happy. And Happy will get a hero. Let's see what hero gets. Paladin! Much better with Knight of than with uh, Undead. That's for sure. This peon scouting. Can he get a last hit? We have a Demon Hunter, by the way, for the other player. Demon Hunter here for Foggy. Demon Hunter, of course, great hero against the Paladin. You just mana burn the Paladin. You just right click the Paladin. And the Paladin is dead. This peon, by the way, also is dying. You know, this archer is creeping. Paladin does get the... Did he get the kill? I assume he got a kill and the Demon Hunter didn't deny it. But maybe he did. Uh, we'll see... Yeah. He did get the peon kill. He's going for this rogue now. Demon Hunter can cancel the Hunter's Hole. He's going for the Hunter's Hole. Nice right click there on the Hunter's Hole. You know, and this Hunter's Hole is going down. There's a mana burn there right on the... On the paladin's face again. He's just right clicking this hunter soul. Very nice right click. This wisp is in place to surround the demon hunter after he cancels the hunter soul. And the ancient war is there as well. Everyone just working together to get this demon hunter. What a teamwork here for Happy. See the teamwork? But the grunt is helping. Helping Foggy. Can he get the hunter soul? He dies. Demon hunter dies. Paladin kills the demon hunter. Here we all thought like, oh, demon hunter can just kill the paladin. He can just mana burn him, kill the archers and win the game. No. No. Here we see the paladin can just kill the demon hunter. And just, you know, kill him. Just with his hammer. Claws of attack plus six. Of course a hammer. Hammer is known to be very good against uh, units with a lot of ha uh, hit points, right? Lot of, not a lot of hit points, a lot of armor is what I meant. Because, uh, you know, you damage the armor and you damage, uh, you hit with such an impact, impact that the armor just bends. And uh, the person, you know, behind the armor gets uh, takes a lot of damage. So that's probably why you can take out that demon hunter. The grunt here doing so much damage against wisps. Just attacking wisps, yeah. Just doing a lot of damage to wisps. <laughs> wisps around here. Oh. Archers are great. This uh, paladin, you know, he's just so powerful. Look at this paladin. It's like the ultimate hero. Hammer uses against the grunt. Grunt is, is going down. Oh, ah. and Foggy is back with his demon hunter. He's zero XP still on the demon hunter. Just like last game, we had a paladin that was zero XP for a long time. But this time we have a demon hunter, and he's finally he's finally getting some XP. Gets a you know some invis cloak of shadows. Hmm. Paladin has claws. He's not to fuck with. And he has a cloak as well now, and he's almost level three. He has a pretty strong paladin. He's going that hunter's hole. He's uh you know that hunter's hole route. Is he going for the dryads? Don't understand why. When your opponent has Demon Hunter, maybe maybe you just want to go Truth of the Talon and not Dryads. But he is going Dryads. He's going Ultra Vision. Maybe even Bears. But here he comes with the Archers. Of course, he has the Paladin. Of course, you know, I'm not doubting any of Happy's players here. Because oh, he had the Wisp in place to block a Grunt. Look at this. Or the Demon Hunter, perhaps. There's the block on the Demon Hunter. He does get mana burned. This grunt. Oh, there's a the Beastmaster for the Demon Hunter player. Paladin killing more units here. Wait, are the heroes correct? They're incorrect, aren't they? Yeah, Happy has the Paladin. There, there's beautiful. Paladin do is so strong here by himself. He deals with the Demon Hunter and the Beastmaster. <laughs> These are the heroes that Happy wanted in this matchup. It's a uh, Night of against Orc. But he gets a Paladin. And what else does he get? A second hero. Wow. 
Hello, Raider. Double Angel of Lore going up. Uh, the drives are pretty good against the summons, of course. The piggies of the Beastmaster, that's nice. Okay, you guys could hear what hero that was. We have uh, Ensnare, we have a Grunt, and then Spirit Lodge. Here she is. Priestess of the Moon! Yeah, not bad if you're going Dryads. I mean, it's still not uh, the hero you really want, but you know, you have Archers, you have Dryads. Yeah, it's fine. She's fine. Probably good enough here for Happy. Hunter and the beast match before you go and cast his own tier 2 buildings. <laughs> if he wasn't paying attention, maybe that could happen, yeah. Okay, we have a, a raider here. He could ensnare the Sasquatch. Could summon the piggy. He's going, uh, okay, the piggy just tanking the Sasquatch. He's going for the forest of shadow priest. Nice play here. Meanwhile, over here. The Priestess of the moon, still level 1. She has sentry words now. Over here, we have dryads, so many dryads. Three of ages still. This Priestess of the Moon. Very powerful. She can tank with this Paladin. She can tank a lot. She has four armor. She's a agility hero, of course. And uh, yeah, she's taking a bit of damage to dry it. Could be my cut back. Oh, there's Lightning Shield on this archer. It does get dispelled. Renegade Wizard is going down with Ruined Razors here. Picked up by the Paladin. There's a Berserker. Oh. Total of strength here on the floor. The the Paladin picks it up. And all these units are dead, guys. Paladin is level almost level 4. Almost level 4. Chaco, really enjoy your streaming on your day off. You're the best. Thanks, Jigarik. Man of the people. I stream almost every day. Every week on my day off. Priestess of the Moon in the front. She does a lot of damage, plus 9 damage. Do I have a third hero yet for anyone? No, no one's go to tier 3. Above the tier 2, what is his second bestiary? Makes sense. Mass Raiders, makes sense. He dispels a fake Raider. We have the Ogre Mauler as well. He's, oh, this guy goes down so fast to all the piercing damage. The Spirit Walker. This uh, Dryad also dying a little bit. Uh, no, the Jet first Raider. The first another Raider. Seems like Happy's just gonna win this Holy Light. GG. First game goes to Happy. So, Orc versus Orc. Foggy got Orc. Happy got Orc. What heroes are we gonna get? There's a second burrow. Uh, Alchemist! Fortunately, it's still the old patch. And a Death Knight. Okay. Alchemist. And a Death Knight. Uh, the Death Knight. Yeah! The Death Knight. And the Alchemist. The Death Knight can still steal Crypto with his coil. Death Knight is not that bad, just because you cannot defensively coil. You still have the aura, you still have the offensive coils. He's still just a pretty good hero. He doesn't even attack this guy once. Now he attacks us once. And now again. Of course, Happy is very good with the Death Knight. He knows how to play his Death Knight. And uh, yeah, he gets the item, the Glove of Haste, and he's done. There's attack. Happy also attacks. They both attack. Foggy is beautiful. Of course, the Death Knight in this, this matchup, he has healing salves. He has clarity potions. So if you get your Death Knight hurt a little bit, who cares? He can just healing self back up. And he has two grunts here now. We have a second grunt here in a moment as well for Foggy. Woohoo! Two grunts working on this forest little trapper. The Alchemist. And all oh, nice acid bomb here on the Death Knight. Death Knight taking some more damage. This grunt is gonna block the Death Knight. And let's see how much he can block him. No, not that much apparently. Uh, Death Knight. Yeah, he's beautiful. The grunts are creeping. Does he have backpack? No, no backpack. You'd think maybe Happy would get backpack because he's an undead player. Backpack on the grunts would have been good here. A town is under siege. A town is under siege. Grunts are working on this voodoo launch. 
Seems like he doesn't want to just let the alchemist creep. Coil on the alchemist. He's going for the alchemist. There's Ace Bomb of the Grunt. The Grunt is back at back. The Death Knight takes a lot of damage as well. Uh, okay. And the Grunt stay retreat. Oh, this one Grunt. Is he gonna be just fine? He's gonna be kind of just fine. Yeah, he's gonna be just fine. And maybe with this happy, he does need to retreat. Because, uh, you know, he could buy Speed Skull. There it is. Speed Skull. And these Grunts are all full hit points. What can Happy do here? Yeah. Not much. He can lose units. Is he gonna lose something? Like a Grunt? Yeah, this Grunt is in trouble. Alchemist is gonna just be just fine, guys. He's gonna be just fine. He's gonna be just fine. Maybe he's not gonna be just fine. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's one more coil in a moment. He, oh, he tries to kill his own Alchemist. And he gets the kill. Uh, these Grunts take a lot of damage. <laughs> Alchemist went down a bit faster than I expected. Uh, the Alchemist will come back, of course, in a moment. Only 36 seconds. It's just a level 1 hero. And this Grunt is microed around beautifully. Can this Grunt survive? Oh, the Peon's helping out the Grunt a little bit. Is, he, is the Alchemist back yet? <laughs> maybe maybe uh, Happy should retreat. Once the Alchemist goes back, he's in trouble. And he does retreat just in time. What a nice retreat timing here by Happy. There's a beast here going up. I'm not sure I like this all the way here in the base. <laughs> because uh, units will get stuck in the base. Right? This is closed off. This is closed off. I'm pretty sure. And uh, sure, if they spawn this side, he's opening this. But if they spawn this side, they're going to be stuck. This is closed. Is it closed? I'm not 100% sure, actually. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is closed. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, there's no danger that... that uh, who are we talking about? Happy is gonna cancel. Oh! Alchemist for Happy as well. Fix his war potion. So many alchemists. And look at him. He's so angry. He's so... not. Oh, is he angry? He's so raged. Yeah, that's angry. He's so angry. Come to Germany, we got Merkel, Merkel Stomp, and there, ooh, boots of speed here for this Razel, Razel Napalm, he's getting second hero, what the f <laughs> Yeah, and another Alchemist. Three Alchemists in one game, 75% Alchemist in this game. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and this uh, these alchemists are creeping. These alchemists are creeping. Um, I mean, Happy could get another alchemist if Happy goes tier three and gets another alchemist. That would be insane. Apparently, Foggy cannot get another alchemist. It's apparently not possible. He's getting a snare and raiders, and he's getting a spirit walkers with adapt. Players' forces are under attack. This berserker is doing a little, a few attacks. He sees it. Oh, it's Lapis, by the way. Lapis, concocter. Of course, he's here because we have all a lot of Lapises, a lot of Alchemises. Uh, he gets a snare, but he's doing just fine. Uh, this raider and snatch the raider. He's going for the raider. Of course, the raider is going down so fast against so many grunts. Uh, there's peasing, of course, Lapis is peasing. That's why he's called Lapis. The grunt there goes down. All the grunts working on this raider. The raider does go down. Over oh, here's this raider also got ensnared. We have a, a very angry, uh, very angry alchemist over here. The, grunt, the raider is dead, but both lost the raider at this point. The death knight. I haven't really seen him uh, throw that many coils. This grunt is dead. Oh, ah, this grunt survives. This grunt gets ensnared. And what can Foggy do? Can he piece some more? No, he's TPing out. Uh, Lapis is piecing more. Trying to save the grunt that got the coiled. And the grunt does survive thanks to the piece. That's right, guys. If you are ever like in an emergency situation and you need to, you need to use the piece to survive, go for it. It might be disgusting, but it will survive. Uh, the grunt is my cut out. There goes the Ogre Mauler. Wand of Lightning Shield. Okay. Roar! And 
at this. This guy he kills everything. The Death Knight, he's level 3 now. Of course, he has level 1 Unholy Aura. There's a Kodo. Do we have a Kodo here? We have a War Mill. Do we have a Kodo? I hear it. I could hear it before I saw him because he, you know, hear the drums or something? Or is that just a Kodo moving? Oh, those are the drums. I think it's just Kodo moving that makes that, uh, that other sound. Like the drums are just like drum sound. You hear them? But wait until it starts moving. It makes a lot of sound as well. You hear that? It's like an elephant moving or something. So, uh, we see Lapis and Razel. Razel Napalm just creeping some Murlocs. Over here we have a Death Knight level 3. And the Fixer's War Potion level 2. He has a code as well. I mean, we yeah, we already talked about his Kodo. Are these guys adept? They are adept. Are these guys adept? They are also adept. Okay. 50 spike is 49. A lot of alchemists against a death knight and an alchemist. Two raiders, four grunts. Two spirit walkers, a Kodo. Four spirit walkers. Actually, Foggy's army. I like this army a lot better. Well, we should be able to win this this fight here. Let's see, but we have two healing scrolls here. How many healing scrolls do we have here? Doesn't even matter. If you just focus the guns with your spirit walkers, with some good micro, decent micro, I think Foggy can win this fight. If you can eat this raider with the Kodo, he's right in front of your face. These spirit walkers dispel and focus the grunts. There's another Kodo. Foggy has base defenders advantage. He does have uh, no shop though, the, but the peons are killing an altar. This uh, guy is so angry, he's going for the spirit walker. Uh, Lapis is angry, but he's uh, peacing over his units. So angry he is. This Kodo did eat a raider. This Kodo eat a grunt. And uh, the Rezil Napalm is going for Fixer's War Potion. This grunt is back on back. This Kodo in the back ate a peon. Very tasty, of course. And oh, the Spirit Walker needs to be Maiko. This other one is doing just fine. He is Maiko, but the, the raider is now going for the next one. And uh, this grunt takes a lot of damage. Now this raider. Oh, the Spirit Walker died to the coil. There's peasing again by Lapis. And he's also peasing over this one. No, the. This one is going to die. And the spirit walkers take kill the one in the back. This uh, this guy is also very low in points. He has an info potion. Now this Kodo is taking a lot of damage. He kills the grunt, but he retreats now. If he dies, a uh, uh, grunt is released, of course. Uh, this Kodo didn't eat anything. Maybe he should eat something like the peon. No, There's not much to eat. This uh, oh fixes war potion, very low in hit points, but he uses the info potion and seems happy. Is doing just fine, killing everything. That's what he likes to do uh, best. He doesn't. He has mana for one more uh, coil. He could use it on this guy, kill it. Uh, he wants to save this guy. This fixes war potion. That's what he does. And let's see. He's going for Lapis. Lapis, you're in trouble. Oh no, Lapis. If Lapis dies, the Notron might be uh, very sad. So Lapis is not dying. Uh, all about these guys so angry with the chemical rage. They're running so fast. Uh, the raider can help this uh, alchemist out a little bit. He ensnares the alchemist. And the death knight is still hunting down Lapis. There's a Kodo blocking Lapis. The Kodo is too, too big. Uh, and Lapis has to walk all the way around the Kodo. There's no shop. Still no shop, right? He didn't rebuild the shop. No. So Lapis is going to die. He's peasing on himself. But there it goes Lapis, guys. I'm so sorry. Lapis is no more. Lapis died. Was killed by Happy. Happy GGs and Foggy GGs. Happy wins. Two to zero for Happy.